Hey guys, Sergeant Mario 11 here. Welcome back for more of The Walking Dead Season 2. In the last part of All That Remains, we lost two of the three remaining survivors of Season 1, Krista and Omid, in the first 20 minutes. We got bit by a dog, and this group found us, and they threw us in this damn shed because they think our dog bite is a lurker bite. And in this part, we are going to get out of the shed and get those damn medical supplies. And this vice is not what we need. Okay. Now, before we continue on, I gotta say, this is one of my complaints with this game. Clementine just stares at a lot of freaking things and doesn't even make a witty comment like Lee did. But, this is the least of our problems with Season 2. What are the problems that are worse? Well, you'll see when we get to the later episodes. Now, admittedly, the later episodes are not as bad with this particular problem I have in mind. Instead... They decided to trade them in for much worse problems, which again, we will get to once we get to those episodes. <laughs> and Clem can't reach that, because she can't jump like she did outside a few hours ago. Oh well, let's just innovate. Innovation never hurt anyone, right? Well, maybe Nintendo and... <sighs> well, I guess wooden boards aren't Clementine's thing, and cardboards are not Nintendo's thing. Alright, well, we got another weapon. Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. If it comes to that, Clementine. GTFO. We have a doctor. He's gotta have stuff for stitches. He has to. Alright, let's get going. And I love how that blood just suddenly disappeared off Clementine's face. Alright, well enough about that. Let's get all the stuff it says above there. Try opening the window. Come on. No, come on. Ow. I think it's getting worse. You think so, Glenn? Zigzaggity Clem. <sighs> Worse. Well, at least she's becoming self aware.
Nope, I totally don't see this. It makes me feel like a fucking idiot when we're not on the same page. We are on the same page. Not out there, we weren't. Not about the girl. I saw you get soft. What do you want me to do, Beck? Put a bullet in her? I want you to think about our family first. It's all I think about. So don't give me any shit. <sighs> wow, what a I bitch. Well, since it is a thing. Knock, knock, knock. What the hell are you doing? I... I need your help. Me? No. I'm sorry, but I can't do nothing. Please. I need to fix my arm. Are you out of your mind? Even if you ain't bitten by some lurker, which you probably are, you can't be here. You gotta get out of here, you understand? Get back into that shed and Carlos will take care of you in the morning. Damn it, girl, go! I can tell that you're nice. I ain't nice. Yes, you are. Don't you do that. I see what you're doing. I'm serious. You need to get out of here. I saw when everyone was arguing. You wanted to help. You didn't see anything. Look, you gotta get out of here before my wife finds you. I'm serious, you gotta go. I got enough problems already. I got a baby on the way, Rebecca's all emotional. Got a mess of hormones causing all sorts of trouble. I don't need any more, get it? Now go. Please help. Please. Don't cry. I'm not gonna cry. I'm just tired. You're not with Carver. No. And you didn't get bit by a dead person. No. You know what? Just forget it. I'm sorry I asked. Really. Good, then get out of here. I'm sorry about your damn arm. Try not to die. <laughs> I'll try not to, Alvin. Yes, yes, I know, game. <sighs> Just break the nails off. Hopefully Clems aren't from trying to open all those windows. Wow, look at this. Junk, junk, junk. Shit, shit, and more shit. Why don't these people have anything good? House meeting in five minutes. That's, that's it. it won't take long. There's a few things we need to discuss. Fine. exactly a jackpot. You know, the first time I actually did this, I actually restarted the game after I broke my knife, because I thought I could have done something else with my other choices. And then I learned the hard way that my choices don't matter. Or any choices for that matter. Anybody's. And there'll be even more choices later on that matter far less than that one. But we'll cross those bridges when we come to them.
monster. Doc. Hopefully there's some stuff we can get up here that'll help us. Bedroom door, bathroom door, bedroom door. Mm -hmm. Let's try this one. Alva didn't help us. It's the only place with enough light to read my book. Please don't tell my dad. What are you reading? A book? What book? I like books. It's called The Gurgles. It's about transdimensional body snatchers. Cool. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. It hurts. Oh yeah, it was very scary. In fact, you want to see it? Uh, it really wasn't one of them. It really wasn't. Okay. Ew, gross. <laughs> no, right? Sarah will remember You have to bandage that. it like my dad does. Yeah, I know. Help me. I need something to clean it with bandages, and I need to sew some of it up. It's too deep. My dad says we're out of real bandages, but I know where to get something to clean it. That's what this applies. I'll help you. Good. Thank you. <sighs> Thanks. I'm Sarah. Hey, Sarah. I'm Clementine. We're friends. <laughs> right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. Aw, that's sad. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Rebecca is okay, but she's old. And that's it. Well, I hate to break this to you, Sarah, but... ...before she's old enough to, like, be my friend. And then I'll be super cool. We're not the same age. What? We're not the same age. You said we were. We're not. How old are you? I'm 15. I'm younger. A lot. You don't seem like it. That's just how it is. So we can be friends then. Why not? She's helping us out. Yes. Promise? Yes. Aww. It's adorable. It's really cute. A pinky swears forever. All right, no, please give me the medicine I before I, my, dad my arm falls off. Cut. Let me look around. Well, actually, she did pinky swear with the other arm, so we still got some time. I think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry, I won't. Man, she helped us out. She must have a lot of fans. How could anybody hate her? Thanks, Sarah. Actually, wait, wait, hold on. 
Hey, Sarah. What are you still doing here? I need to find some bandages. I don't have any. Um, maybe try looking in another room. But be careful. They'll be mad if they find you sneaking around. Thanks, Sarah. We're friends, right? Right. <laughs> All right. Let's try in here. Oyster. Okay, normally I would not steal this watch, but considering the significance it has later on, I'm going to do that. Although, I'm probably exaggerating when I say significance. Not exactly Actually, bandages. Yeah. Oh, the hell with it. I'm exaggerating. Yes, I know I still need a needle. Okay. What we got? Quote unquote bandages. Needle. Hey, Sarah. Does your dad have a needle with his supplies? No, I I don't think so. He likes to keep those clean, but I don't know where they are. <sighs> okay, I guess I'll just keep looking. Okay, be careful and try to hurry. Thanks, Sarah. I will. In the bathroom. They have to have medical supplies around here somewhere. Hopefully there's some in the medicine cabinet. It's clean. And even if it wasn't, we could use that water there. I guess that's all I need. I better get out of here. <laughs> Say that again. Man from time. Uh. Damn it. I just need to have this feeling. Oh, her. Rebecca. Sounds like you need Maury. <laughs> when it comes to Rebecca's newborn baby, Alvin, you are not the father! <laughs> oh man, won't this be an interesting story? Wonder how far this will go. thing. Hey, Sarah? Where can I stitch up my arm? I don't know. Somewhere 
no one can hear you, which is like not in here. They'll find you for sure. Great. Yeah. I hope your arm feels better. Thanks, Sarah. Wait, 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 wait. One last thing. Hey, Sarah. Don't tell anyone I'm here, okay? Okay. Thanks, Sarah. <sighs> Man. We are adept to Sarah. Okay, let's just listen. Just, just, I'll just do this just so I can show you guys what this is like. You'd rather die? Better her than us. You'd have done the same thing. It wasn't the brightest idea. Oh, when firing your rifle was, huh? Next time we'll just put it in here and find it. Don't worry, I'll show you the rest later. Once a jump cut that's useful. Oh boy. I'm just gonna warn you guys right now, I absolutely hate this part. So bear with me if this takes me a little bit longer than usual for most people. This is gonna suck. I just wish it was... better. It will be Clem as soon as we can do this. I just wish it was... better. Hmm. Worst bandages ever. At least they'll keep the stitches in place when I'm done. Peroxide first. showed me so Krista showed you how to sew an arm but she didn't show you how to make a fire all right I got a question the oh God Look at the screen, I'm serious. <sighs> for once, thank God for the shed. They can't freaking hear us. Hopefully. Maybe if Clum just screamed a little louder.
blurry. <laughs> Quality animations. <sighs> At least it's over. Good enough. If only we had some something like a juice pop. A nice little juice box would have helped right now. <laughs> oh no. Shit! Get off! Get off! Get off! No! Ugh. Get the fuck off! No, 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 no! Come on! Break! Just like frickin' Lee! Frickin', I wouldn't be surprised if he's related to Danny St. John. Just die! Holy shit. What the? How the hell did he get in here? Little girl's tough as nails. Are you alright? The shed should have been safe. I'm still. Yeah, not what wasn't? Bitten. I never was. And you left me out here to die. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. Enough already. Guys, please. You left me no choice. You could have just left. Relax, Rebecca. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurker sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? Is a duck that doesn't know if my turn to bite or not. Ow. How she looked. Their suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in and her temperature would be through the roof. You wouldn't have done what you did. I didn't do anything. Exactly what Sarah says every time I catch her in a lie. We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. Wait. She knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there. She would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. You don't have to threaten me. Rebecca was worried you might be working with someone else. 
that your being here was no accident. I guess we'll find out. But one thing I know for sure, you are not to be trusted. Stay away from my daughter. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. No time. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Oh. So is that how you start your conversations, Mr. I Know How to Talk to Girls? Yeah. You know, I get it. You're pissed that we lock you up. And I'm sorry. This jackass. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not aggro. Good. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely <sighs> had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. What happened? Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, man, hopefully you understand. I do. Yeah. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Okay, let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. Does it matter? I was just curious on how you made it this far. I just tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Well... well I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it. But it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He's the reason I keep my hair short. What uh, happened to him? I ran away. I was stupid. There was a man who said he knew my parents. I thought I knew what I was doing, but I ran away. And Lee died because of it. Maybe he would have died anyways. It was my fault. I just... Sometimes people die because of me. 
Oh, just wait until we get I further. Hate to but I'm out there standing watch, and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Hmm, wouldn't that be nice? You're still here. Oh, great. You. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Hmm? You know what? Whose baby is it? Excuse me? If it's not Alvin's, whose is it? You shut your fucking mouth! Oh, really? You should probably think about being nicer to me. That's just my advice. BURN! I knew you were going to be a fucking problem. You got what you came here for. Now go. <laughs> You're just lucky the world is the way it is now, Rebecca. You're very lucky. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her bite. She's all talk. She doesn't scare me. She was in a mood last night, that's for sure. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. Yeah, but not a rifle. Well, that makes sense. Less kick. This thing would probably knock you on your ass. Probably. Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says... I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Oh, that's sad. Hey! Why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well I didn't know that. I want to hear the rest of the story. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. <laughs> Leaving tension. us again. I know where the fucking river is. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. He doesn't hate you. Nick's father wasn't there much. And he was a piece of shit when he was. So it fell to me to keep him in line, raise him right. Meant I couldn't just be nice Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete! Huh? What's going on? Nick! Did 
Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. What the f Holy sh... Is that the same corpse from the bedroom in season one and no time left? Ugh, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs, that much I know. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Okay, we've been hearing that name spread around quite a bit in this episode. Who Check is Carver? Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. What can I do? See if you can find anything else. Like what? Like what might tell us who did this. Is he shot too? Yeah. These fellas got lit up something good. Take a look around. Just be careful. Wait a second. Is that... This one's shot too. Through the head? Yeah. Oh. Hey, Roman. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. Maybe the 400 Days characters won't be so useless after all. So, Nick, what's up with the reused Walker Corpse from the first season? Can I help? I got it. Are you sure you're okay? Ask my uncle. He knows everything. I said I got it, okay? Right, right, right. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky dink pissant match. What was it then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now! Jesus Christ, get a hold of yourself! Shouldn't we go get the others? Wish we could. But one of these folks might still be alive, and they just might be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You wanna be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there, waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess, just like baiting a fish. It's what I'd do. At some point, you guys have to trust me. Hell, I trust you. But not everyone's at that point yet. Give them time. Look, just keep your head on straight. Same deal. All shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. Good. Nice. Damn it. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were. Alrighty. Oh. Can't tell. Is that the other corpse that was in that bedroom from season one? How did that get here? <coughs> That's my backpack.
You were in the woods with Krista. The woman I was with. What happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me. Where's your friend, buddy? Please. There were three of you. <laughs> Mr. Jesus, are you fucking kidding me? Who's gone now? And there was the guy in the hoodie. What happened to him? Freaking kidding me! Come this way, bitch! Damn it! You get your asses over here, both of you! you! Oh my God! Season one all over again! Get over here, God damn it! Can't you listen to me once? Just one time? I've got ammo. Listen to me! Get Come on! Come on! Come on! Jesus! Fuck! Pete! Get the fuck off, Pete! Got about four, five more days to reach those mountains. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. Look at these guys. I thought you were dead. All right, let's see. We we're trying to save Krista. You and 58.7% of players stopped to help Krista. Did you kill the dog? About over 50%. Did you accept Nick's apology? Over 50%. Did you give the die water to the dying man? Right. Did you save Nick or Pete? We went with Pete. Okay, so. Anyway. That was shorter than the first episode of the first season, but... And overall, I think it was a pretty good episode. That being said, this, along with the next episode, are really the only good episodes of the season. Now, I'm just going to tell you guys right now, I know I did nitpick quite a decent amount in this episode. You can expect a lot more of that in the next upcoming episodes. Because I know I was kind of trying to make a lot of jokes, so I mean, I did make a lot of jokes in this episode. Kind of like I did in the first season. We had a grand old fun time with the first season. But I'm just going to tell you guys right now, season two is not going to be like that. It was, for the most part, with this first episode, because this, in my opinion, is probably the best episode of the whole season. I know a lot of people, spoilers a little bit, like to say that episode two is the best, and I'd say it's not a bad episode. It's a fairly overall good episode, but I honestly think this one was a lot better. But, as for why I don't think this, or the next episode, and especially the ones afterwards, are as good, well, like I said, we will cross those bridges when we come to them. 
So yeah, I tried to make this one somewhat funny, or at least I tried to be, have a, having a good old grand fun time, but most of the other episodes are not going to be like that, so I hope you enjoyed it while it lasted. Alright, I'll see you all in the next episode, A House Divided. See you guys then. your every breath Life is for the living in the water oh. You feel that you should run but Where are you to hide in the water oh. Against the tide struggle the skin wearing skin wearing against the tide we struggle to keep our heads above the deep and our hearts above the line above the line we vow your life and blood this is not our home Oh, yeah, I hope he is never found. Just try and keep your way in the water. Oh, and against the tide, we struggle. The skin wearing, skin wearing. Against the time we struggle to keep our heads above the tea and our hearts above the light, above the light. And who we are today can never make amends for what we've done. Tainted blood. His eyes, his eyes are full of love Forgive them, release them One more thing. I promised I'd show you guys the house meeting the cabin group we're having in regards to Clementine's bite, and that's exactly what you're about to see. Also, it should be noted that this footage comes from the version of Season 2 that's presented in the Walking Dead collection. In the original version, the only way to clearly make out what the cabin group was saying was to peek through the door and potentially miss some of the conversation. Fortunately though, due to Telltale's incompetence, they forgot to put in the sound filters on the character's dialogue while leaning against the door, so we can easily make out what they're saying, without missing any of the conversation, or at least a good amount of it. I'm not sure if you miss any of it when Clementine backs away from the door, but I digress. Without further ado, here's the house meeting that the cabin group has about Clementine's bite in the Walking Dead collection.
I've already made my decision. Well, Luke has more to say, I guess. Where's Sarah? She's got her book. She doesn't need to be a part of this. We know she could be connected to Carver. Come on. There's no way. She could be. We don't know. She's connected to somebody. There's no way she's out here by herself. She said she's out here alone. Yeah, right. Whoever she's with, they'll probably come looking for her. Great. They show up and we've got her locked in the shed. You think we should bring her in here? No, I'm just saying it wouldn't look too good. It's just a precautionary measure. Anyone else would do the same. You really think Carver would come after us? You think he wouldn't? He's not exactly the type to let things lie. What happened, happened. There's nothing we can do about it now. Let him come. I really don't give a damn. Alvin. What? I don't. Hey, man. You brought her back here, not me. You knew she what was What were we supposed to do? Huh? Leave her out there to die? Better her than us. You'd have done the same thing. It wasn't the brightest idea. Oh, what fire in your rifle was, huh? Next time, we'll just put up a neon sign that says, Lurkers, welcome. Where are you going, hon? I want to get my sweater. We'll be done in a minute. She shows up out of nowhere, surrounded by Lurkers, about to get eaten alive, and you're telling us it was a dog? Yeah, yeah, I know it sounds crazy, but look, for whatever reason, I think she's telling the truth. Look, there's no point in arguing about it now. She's in the shed. She's not going to hurt anyone. We'll just see what's what in the morning. But Carlos said she could die if she doesn't get her arm treated. Assuming she doesn't turn. That true? The girl could really die. If the infection spreads, anything's possible. It could definitely get a whole lot worse for her. Don't we have penicillin? Or something that could, you know, stop the infection from spreading? We have some, but not enough to spare. We're not wasting anything on her. What if one of us needs it? Look, I'm just saying we can help, and that's all. We need to think of ourselves first. That's just the way it is. We can't just let her die. Not if there's something we can do about it. Let's just say she's telling the truth and she doesn't turn. Then what happens? Apologize for being assholes, and then we help fix her. She arm. can't stay with us. We barely have enough supplies for ourselves. We've got more fish in the traps than we could ever. Eat. Yeah, but she's seen us. She knows we're here. What? Are you scared of a little girl? A little girl is not the problem. It's who she might tell. We got to keep an eye on her. If she doesn't turn, which she probably will. I gotta take a leap. Hold on, we're almost done. Fine. My point is, if a little girl can find her way here, then almost anyone can. Pete, you saw those lurkers, right? That's more than we've seen in a while. Yeah, seems like it's not as safe as it was. At least not like when we found this place. Maybe it's time to move on. We can't just keep running. At some point, we've got to settle down. We should, and we will. But can we find somewhere safe? I don't know. You've seen what it's like out there. I was just starting to like this place. Look, we've had a good run here, but... If it's time to move on, then I got no problem with that. Yeah, but I mean, where do we go from here? No more cities. We all agreed on that, right? Too many damn lurkers. We're not going back the way we came. That's for damn sure. We can probably find somewhere better. We just need to look. Wherever we go, we can't get too attached. We'll be fine, as long as we keep things fluid. Forget we need to check the traps tomorrow. What do we do with the girl? You are not leaving her here with me. We can't just keep her locked in the shed. And we're not animals. Then take her with you. What? You want to keep an eye on her? Then take her with you. Are we almost done here? I want to make sure Sarah's ready for bed. Wait a second. There's something else I want to talk about. Mm -hmm. 